so shall it be. Before the Son of Man returns, this same sign. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost is God, God in, the in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is the your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If Jesus this isn't your first time here, here. and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. This message will be considered by some controversial. But in the last days, there shall be a sign mainly men and women having their youth renewed most won't believe it most won't receive it but i'm not preaching to most i'm preaching to you i'm preaching to those who have ears to hear what the spirit saith to them there is such a thing as youth renewal something that god does in fact specializes in I preach on this often and I am honored and privileged to have this message and I don't take it lightly but I do take it say I take it you should too Genesis chapter 5 verse 1 this is the book of the generations of Adam you know who Adam is in the day that God created man in the likeness of God made he him male and female created he them blessed them and called their name Adam verse 3 and Adam lived 130 years and begat a son in his own likeness after his image and called his name Seth verse 5 and all the days that Adam lived were 930 years and he died now if you remember a few chapters earlier God said if they eat of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil that dying they would die and we see that after Adam ate the fruit he didn't die he dying died and it took him 900 years so the process of death began in his body but it didn't kill him immediately right verse 8 and all the days of Seth Adam's son were 912 years and he died verse 11 and all the days of Enos which was a son of Seth were 905 years and he died verse 16 and all the days of Mahalalel were 890 and five years and he died and Jared lived 160 and two years and begat Enoch Jared lived after he begat Enoch 800 years and begat sons and daughters verse 20 and all the days of Jared were 960 and two years and he died verse 21 and Enoch lived 60 and five years and begat Methuselah say Methuselah now the literal meaning of Methuselah is when he dies judgment comes it was a big deal and Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah 300 years and all the days of Enoch were 360 and five years and Enoch walked with God and was not for God took him and all the days of Methuselah were 960 and nine years and he died the oldest man recorded in the Bible 960 and nine years and it was said that the day that Methuselah died the rains began for Noah because when he died judgment came but Enoch begat Methuselah the oldest man alive and when he dies judgment comes my first point here are these scriptures are these ages therefore scriptural these ages 
that they lived are scriptural and it seems as though the further they got from the garden the tree of life specifically the shorter their lifespan became dying thou shalt die well the reverse is also true the closer you get to the tree of life or the garden of eden so to speak then living thou shalt live are you here well we see that those ages are scriptural and you don't have a different body than they did you didn't all of a sudden get some different kind of body that only lived this long it's different than their body it's literally the same they begat and so you came along you have the same body say I have the same body get that straight you were designed to live hundreds and hundreds of years say I was designed to live hundreds and hundreds of years in this body this is not healing this is something different this restores to before the before time the before for time Joel chapter 2 verse 2 says a great people talking about us in our day a great people and a strong people verse 3 the land is as the Garden of Eden before them there are great people there are strong people and the land where they're going is as the Garden of Eden so they're getting closer they're getting closer to the Garden of Eden say the Garden of Eden you have to keep this before you that you're getting closer and closer to the tree of life where redemption began do you remember this Genesis chapter 3 verse 23 therefore the Lord God sent them forth from the Garden of Eden and he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life as they got farther and farther away from the tree and the fragrance thereof their lifespan became shorter and as we get closer and closer to it the tree of life and the fragrance thereof our lifespan become longer Jesus prophesied of this day Matthew 24 verse 37 as the days of Noah were all those guys I just read to you about as the days of Noah were so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be as in the days that were before the flood they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until the day Noah entered into the ark what day did Noah enter into the ark the day Methuselah died Jesus pointed out some signs that people were going to behave like that but one of the greatest signs and the greatest sign that there was at that time was that Methuselah lived longer than anyone else had ever lived before that was the sign when he dies judgment comes are you here so as in the days before the flood was very specific and an unmentioned sign that had a name called Methuselah Methuselah was the sign of the aged the sign of the age no the sign of the aged he lived longer than anyone else this unspoken sign must be included as the days of Noah were Methuselah his extra extended lifespan was a sign in the days of Noah so shall it be before the Son of Man returns this same sign God uses youth renewal as a sign we know God quickened Abraham and Sarah it was the first sign with Abraham and Sarah 
literally making her younger and not just her reproductive parts she became younger her the whole of her became a younger person twice kings tried to take her into their harem an 80 year old woman they saw her and tried to take her into their harem god did something to her he renewed her youth to the degree it literally scared abraham he would say to the king now she's my sister don't kill me because she's so beautiful she had killer looks one of the benefits of worshiping and serving the living god is that he renews your youth abraham and sarah foundational people of our faith god renewed their youth this is part of our eternal heritage but like all things you decide how far this goes for you but like methuselah there will be those who are a sign in this last day your long age not old age your long age your lengthened lifespan of age is proof of God's long suffering it's a sign in our day as in Noah's day this is part of our redemptive package and other parts of the same redemptive package won't work like they're supposed to without it you can't get there without it you must have this working stop thinking 70 plus years or 80 by reason of strength stop thinking 120 years if all goes well that's the natural this is unnatural this is supernatural you must think like that if you are going to go here and you must go here you are required to go here Ephesians 5 16 says redeeming the time redeeming means to buy it back buying back time time is not a problem say it time is not a problem oh I don't have time I don't have enough time to accomplish all the things that I need to do I don't have enough years left to accomplish all the things that I need to do now you do oh I don't have enough time now you do you're not saying the people will live up to hundreds of years like they did before the days of Noah Jesus said it I'm saying this will and this must happen this will be a sign in this day someone has to preach it if you believe and receive God will quicken your mortal body and make it younger Romans 8 11 says that the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead shall quicken our mortal body our mortal physical body Enoch was considered a young man when he was translated at 365 years old considered a young man are you hearing this Enoch was considered a young man when he was translated and he was 365 years old there are effects that everlasting life has on your physical body get this into your bones you who worship here and I mean those who worship the Holy Ghost in this room of Holy Ghost worship Enoch prophesied of you he said they shall enter into that holy place and it the tree of life's fragrance shall be in their bones and they shall live a long life on the earth such as their fathers you who worship here I'm imploring you to embrace this 
I have this message and I'm giving it to you take it up all these things come into the earth through words and if no one speaks them they don't come but I'm called to speak such things Noah preached something that no one had seen before Methuselah lived something that no one had ever seen before Enoch said that his message was not for his present generation but for a remote generation one that would come and I am that generation Psalms 118 verse 17 I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord this is most definitely a work of the Lord in our day and I declare it youth renewal that has gone way beyond what anyone alive has seen before and it shall be a sign in our day get declaring it get speaking it get it for yourself we worship you Holy Ghost and we thank you for it in Jesus name if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost you are the living God I worship you and serve you and walk with you as God in the earth today and you quicken my physical body and make it younger and make it live longer and longer and we thank you that I am a sign in this latter day in Jesus name is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today